Hello students. So in our grammar class today, we are going to discuss about the first lesson, first chapter from our English grammar textbook, which is about sentences. So we are going to learn a few more things about sentences. Sentences हम वैसे तो पिछले क्लास में पढ़ चुके हैं. We will quickly rewind what uh, a sentence is, and then we will come to the types of sentences. So sentences kya hote hain in our last class we have studied that a group of words that make complete sense a group of words that makes complete sense is known as a sentence yahan do cheeze hain first a group of words and it should make a complete sense ki matlab jo bhi hum words le rahe hain it should be arranged properly so that it makes a complete sense a complete meaning उसका एक प्रॉपर मीनिंग निकल के आए तो हम उसे कहते हैं सेंटेंस नाउ इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सेंटेंसेस सो सेंटेंस इज क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ पर्पस एंड स्ट्रक्चर सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर देयर आर थ्री काइंड्स ऑफ सेंटेंस व्हिच इज सिंपल कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड कंपाउंड and on the basis of purpose declarative imperative exclamatory and interrogative so these are the four types of sentences which we are going to study today so structure we are not going to focus on we are not going to focus on the structure structure part the classification on the basis of structure so let's omit it on the basis of purpose we have the first one is declarative jaisa ki noun ye bata raha hai declarative that means it is going to declare something it is going to make a statement those kind of statement jahan pe jiska purpose hai matlab jiske hone ka matlab hai ki wo kuch declare kar raha hai kuch fact bata raha hai aapko kuch ab statement kis tarah ke hote hain statement hote hain जैसे होते हैं फैक्ट विश राइट सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट किसी तरह की कोई इंटेंशन या फिर फीलिंग तो वी कॉल देम एज स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट जहां पे कुछ भी बात बताई जा रही है मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट एंड्स विद अ लेट्स मेक अनदर कॉलम where we're going to write this kind of statement they ends with a full stop a full stop hot laga hota hai last mein okay so let's take for example declarative sentence let's omit this one and let's take a few example like Declarative sentence जो कि एक फैक्ट बता रहा होता है वी हैव टेकन स्टेटमेंट एज द अर्थ रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन मतलब अर्थ जो है वो सन के इर्द गिर्द घूमता है गोल चक्कर देता है ओके सो दिस इज अ फैक्ट इसे कोई चेंज नहीं कर सकता है ये सत्य है ये एक सच्ची बात है एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज इट इज एंडिंग विद अ फुल स्टॉप फाइन नेक्स्ट लेट्स टेक द सेकेंड वन विच इज imperative sentence imperative sentences they reflect a feeling uh, sorry a command they are usually a command or order or request and these kind of sentences they end with either a full stop or the exclamatory mark so imperative sentences kya hote hain ki ye sentences aise sentences jo aapko command bata rahe hain ya kuch karne ke liye request kar rahe hain ya fir 
ऑर्डर दिया जा रहा है आपको कुछ करने के लिए दीज आर नोन एज इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस तो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल यूजली यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड दिस सेंटेंस फ्रॉम अस Quiet. Whenever you are in the school, uh, school premises, and you are making noise, आप क्या सुनते हैं अपने टीचर से कि please keep quiet. This is a command, an order. आपको कमांड किया जा रहा है, आपको इंस्ट्रक्ट किया जा रहा है कि प्लीज चुप बैठो, शांति से बैठो. So this kind of sentences are imperative sentences where a command is given, or the request is made, or an order is given. Fine. Let's come to the third one the third one is a exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentences kya karte hain wo ki wo ek स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग बताते हैं इट शोज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग इट रिफ्लेक्ट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग जैसे कोई भी चीज है जिसके जिसे लेके आप बहुत ज्यादा खुश हो या फिर बहुत ज्यादा दुखी हो या फिर आपको कोई भी चीज बहुत ज्यादा अच्छी लगती है दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर दिस रिफ्लेक्ट फीलिंग सो दे एक्सप्लेमेटरी सेंटेंसेस आर यूज टू रिफ्लेक्ट आर Strong feeling or emotion, and you it usually end with an exclamation mark. Exclamation mark looks like this. Okay, and let's take an example, like. We usually say, "Oh my goodness!" India won the match. So here, if you see, an exclamation mark is given after "oh." That means this word, this sentence shows an ex. Uh, extremely happy feeling that we are happy that India has won the match. Now let's come to the last one, which is an interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences are those sentences which ask question. Whenever you are asking anything to anyone, these sentences are. used so it ends with a question mark let's take an example a very basic example what is your name that means you are asking someone what is his or her name so uh, these kind of sentences as they ending with a question mark these are known as interrogative sentences whenever you are asking a question to someone or somebody so uh, these are known as uh, interrogative sentences so these are the four kinds of sentences declarative which declares a statement or gives a fact explains a fact the second one is imperative sentences which is used to show a command a request or an order third one is exclamatory sentence which is used to reflect a strong feeling which is used to express a very strong feeling then the fourth one is interrogative sentences these sentences are those whenever you are asking a question to someone so these are the uh, four kinds of sentences on the basis of purpose of the sentence so on the basis of this we will do a few exercises of the lesson and uh, take care of this